Can you can you pick some of that in my mouth? <laughs>
smell my pinky. All right, well, where does this go? What's that in there? What is this? I don't know what this is. Or where this is. We can get down into the, the kitchen of that area. What's going on here? I don't know what this is. I, 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 I'm sure this is for a mission at some point in time. That ladle was going bonkers there. Is it is it trying to tell me? Uh, do I have some soup? Put in here. Oh, shit! Oh shit! Okay, let's get out of here. Someone's gonna someone's gonna find us out. I don't know what's I don't know what the point is of being in here. This is a hotel. Oh look! Wow, nice. Yeah, look at this. Look at this fucking computer. When did this game come out? All right. Oh, can we play pool? Can I pick this up? Can I? No. What? Ah, oh, dude, these fucking pool tables suck. The ball will just fall straight out onto the ground. That's not good. You need to have like a. Uh, that is no. That is mm -mm. nope. That's not gonna work. That is not gonna work, guys. I have no, I have no direction. What's that? I have no direction. Uh, or uh, what are you doing? Hi. Are you a hooker? I think she's a hooker. Well, what yes. are you? May I help you? I don't know. No. I guess this is for later. Okay, so we know we can sneak into this building. That's great. Um, all right, now let's actually focus. I am completely unfocused right now. My brain is going a million everywheres, and I don't know where I am. What was that? Oh, that was the Empire Arms. <laughs> Excuse you. Empire Arms. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. Let's go actually do the quest line. Um before I get distracted again by something shiny or moving or, well, nipply. Um, I'm assuming that's it right there. I mean, come on. That looks like a big evil vampire tower and that's what we're probably gonna go talk about. Why are there, whatever. Um, I, I, this has to be it, right? I mean, come on, that has to be it. I'm gonna move my laptop here a little bit. There we go, so I can see what's going on, with my wavelengths and things. Technical behind the scenes. Ah, oh, look, rocks. Hi. You look familiar, Chief. Yep. We haven't met before, have we? We have. Oh, yeah, back in Santa Monica, right? Yep. Ooh, I don't know what came over me back there, but now I got this sweet night shift position, and oh. I'm happier than the time I met Superwitz. Cool. Uh, well, did we? Uh, enough about we didn't glamour him, did we? You uh, here to see one of the big wigs, Chief? Um. Yep. Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? Insurrection Baby... F uh... It's okay. Uh... Okay, then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. Oh. You go right on up. Perfect. Have a good one. Yeah. Uh... You have a good power meeting or, uh, Whatever it is you types do up there. Do you need any security? Uh-huh. Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me. In case you're yeah, I get it, because you're fat. Did you say chunk? Ah, yeah, I, I get that all the time. The name goes back to my football days. Oh. Uh, actually, uh, my fantasy football days. Uh oh. At the station. Oh. The station near him. That was this office yeah. supply outlet mall I used to watch. Mm -hmm. Hey, you kids! No skating in the parking lot! <laughs> that was me. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's great. I thought he was an actual police officer. Oh, these things gonna go off. Beep, 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 beep. Nope, okay. They must be, like, if you try to steal something. Well, of course, that's great. Look at this fucking interior. Just, like, stone on top of stone on top of stone on top of stone. Okay, well, it knows where to take me, doesn't it? Penthouse. Here we go. Oh, good. Oh. Oh, well, that's that's nice. You've got, yeah, you got that, and you got that, and that, and you have, you have that, and then you have that, and uh, you have that. That's good. I think I slashed some of these paintings earlier. And then you've got a gigantic dude right there. Hi. There you are. What? I was informed of your presence in the building. Yep. Since you're here, I'll Mr. take the Chunk. liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? I, uh, yes, that is. Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. Okay. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Um. I don't what to tell him. I mean, the Santa Monica Kindred were a little two-faced, but that's about it, which is, ha ha, yeah, let's, be, let's be funny. A taste of what's to come. <laughs> 
You have no idea. Well, are you, are well, you hitting on me? Circumstances being I, what? what they were, I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. Uh-huh. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. Well, usually you explosives are... to be a genuine uh, asset. Thank you. It's a bit disturbing. He likes my ass. Within this organization as of late. Yeah, he is hitting on me. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? Um, what's in it for me? Don't be so hasty to inflate your own worth. Nah, you I like to inflate things, very especially my penis. But in the grand what, I'm sorry, role, what? I did, what was I saying? Stride of progress. If you're looking to make a name for yourself, listen very carefully. There have been Stop! He keeps looking down at my dick. Spreading around the kindred community. First, I have the one lady thing. that wants to rock my bones. Now this guy, and I'm sorry, dude, I don't float that boat. Uh, if you know what I'm saying. What was he talking about? Um, uh, Elizabeth Day cargo ship those towed. Have nope, I have not. The Dane was I probably have. The, sea. the reports say it was without crew, but they have yet to report a fate of said crew. The police are uh -huh. investigating the Dane as we speak. So thirsty. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such is it a ghost ship? Is yeah, it's gonna be a fucking ghost ship. An object called the Ankaran sarcophagus. Yep. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture. Uh -huh. So what I need is fact. Did I just find a pew in my mouth? I need really evidence gross. that the occurrences on the day were not pube. supernatural in nature. How did a pew get in my mouth? no way relate to this on Corrin terrible. What? Um, wait, what do you want me to do? You have three objectives. Okay. One. I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. Okay, it's gonna be cursed. You sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. Yeah, it'll be cursed. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Danes arrived. Cause, cause it's cursed. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. I'm gonna and open secondly, it. the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Okay. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. Okay. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. Uh huh. So be careful what you do in front of them. So don't kill them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen mm -hmm. without consequences. Fine. Yes. Good. Oh. Oh. And it has come that was to my a different that you voice acting or something. Rodriguez earlier. Uh huh. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. He wasn't that charming. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? I honestly don't really remember, but... Oh, okay. Oh, he did? Whoops. I see. Then, you should go humor the by-the-numbers rhetoric he's so desperately aching to spew. Oh, okay. Oh, please, before the chance of fascist oppressor from that dive of theirs clog the air and choke the local kind. Oh. Uh, okay, fine. Give the Anarch community my regards. Whatever. Okay, uh, so I think he told us to go there, don't kill any lawmen, open the sarcophagus, and, and we'll be good to go. I think I can manage that. Oh, okay, cool. That's interesting. He has a teleporting, uh, teleporting, uh, what the fuck that is that called? Uh, not a lift, that's silly. Uh, elevator, teleporting elevator. I need to get one of those. That'd be really nice to have. Oh, hello. Where can you take me? Um. Mm, no. Okay, so let's go to, before we go uh, open that sarcophagus, let's go talk to um, that one dude by the last round. I gotta figure out where that is again. Last, the last round. What is that? Last round, number nine. So we are here, and number seven is the hospital. So we gotta go past the hospital, past Hollow Grove. For fuck's sake. So there's the hospital, because we were there. Or abandoned hospital. There's the Hollow Brook. And then that's the parking thing. So then we take it right down here, past these weirdos that we don't know anything about. And down in this corner somewhere is the last round, where we will talk to Nine Tails and find out uh, what he wants of us. He's probably, I, I don't know. It sounds like the print, why? They're all over the place, those guys. Uh, it sounds like the prince knows that they don't like him, but they want he wants me to talk to them anyway. I'm not really sure what's going on with this weird vampire drama. Um, I just I just want to be this you know super vamp. Okay, I did not expect a bar to have this like crazy over the. Oh. 
Oh. Poster child of Camarilla Benevolence. What's that? What errand does the prince have you run into? The fuck you talking about? Funny. Is Nines around here? Go get Nines to send you an errand to find your injured pride. If you don't get my face, Anarch, I'm gonna rip yours off. Um. Yeah, I'm just. I'm not gonna try to be an angsty teen. I'm just gonna be like, yeah, it's straight. Where is he? Uh huh. No, Skelter. Um. Did you come up with that all by yourself? Uh huh. Yeah, good job. You showed up. Yeah. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. So you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. Just you just rapped right there by saying, Yo, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. You know, I just thought, what is this thing? Not another goddamn speech. What? Hang on a sec. Shut up! As huh? I was saying, Wait, all what? this, the life we lead, huh? it's a mess. Right. Was he telling me to shut up? That was just weird. Go on. You got a right to know the score. Okay. Camarilla, this is the short of it. Okay. They operate a lot like the pyramids. Okay. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top. Yeah. They've got only those white plots in mind. So. They lose their power, they die. They so. sired more to carry out their plans. Uh huh. Looking for a little power, and those who are sired for their own schemes, and so on and on and on. First, my head just. That's not really a pyramid scheme, though. It works out to exist. Only a few people at the top have it. That's not really a pyramid scheme. That's more of like a pyramid structure, which any organization has, actually. So, what? Let's fight. Let's do it. Let's fight. We can do pull a grenade. No. Um. So what are you all about? I the way of this world during the depression. Oh. A bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. Yeah. Did they suffer? No. The little people suffer. Welcome to all of time. time. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Okay. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Okay. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. When? That's what LA is. I don't think it's ever been about free that. State. Anarch Free State? The camera will kick out on the last one. We need the animals to have a good politics. Okay. Now the Korean crew pop in like they never left. Uh-uh. In the goddamn way. Oh. Their lives don't apply to us. Oh. Um. Sound like you're the prince of the Anarchs. No such thing. Uh-huh. Don't throw those kind of words around on me. We risk him to be dead. Let's go. Maybe I like it. Maybe that's my fetish. Long time later. One of the only ones left that has the bitterness with Yeah. Well, aren't you just the big, big badass? Um. Your group just seems like a bunch of rebel posers. Is that just all posers? Huh. And gangbangers to me. The hell with you, man. Yeah. Go on back to your tower. Yeah. Say what you want about me, but not one of us in this bar is a no good two faced backstabbing would be tyrant like that son of a bitch LaCroix. Okay. He and his camera are on borrowed time. You tell him Nines Rodriguez said so. Oh, okay. Um. I'll find your gift for profanity delicious. Goodbye. Alright, I'll do that. See ya. So, I don't know. Did I just join. Thought I told you to get back to your tower. Thought I come along. I think Lacroix shoes need polishing. Cute. Um. Hello. So that chase you in here, Cammy? Oh. What are you talking about? Heard nine saved your ass again. Again. You think Lacroix would stop counting his many long necks with your back, Jack? What do you mean again? Cammy, you have a whole lot less about your neck. Why is she calling me a Cammy? Nine's calling the prince out in that courtroom. Snakes. Looks like things worked out for Lacroix anyway. No. Oh. Did I do something to piss you off? As long as you're a tool for some cape, you don't have to say a word to start pissing me off. What's a cape? The fuck's your problem? <laughs> yeah. You wanna know what my problem is? Alright, I'll tell I'm you. I really problem. don't. I'm not gonna pay attention to what she says. Oh. Anyone who would lay it down for some cape in an ivory tower deserves uh -huh. what they get. Oh. I make my own fate. Uh. That's real. 
Thanks. Okay. The counter elections every kindred party organization regardless. Okay. You do something they don't like, well, you're Camarilla, so you get punished under their laws. Like it or not. Isn't... Isn't that... I mean, what? I don't... Wh huh? You need to start listening, or you're gonna wind up just like your side. And who... And who the hell might you be? I'm Danzel. Oh. Your den mother. So you are in charge in an organization where no one's in charge. Piss. You don't say. Drink some bad blood. Don't even joke about bad blood at a time like this. I know it wasn't don't usually a very good pay per view. Uh, play bear. Okay. Uh oh. I know I've seen them. So I need to get rid of one. I'm sorry I missed that one. Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. Alright, fine. One of our boys' ghouls, Prince Paul, lives okay. in the Sky Apartments. Aha! Uh -huh. See, we found a quest! I was just going to try to, you know, see if I, you know, could play some game, if you know what I'm saying, but now I got a quest. Alright. Yep, I'll go check it out. Wait, if Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pop. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. Yeah, I know, the one guy was barfing. Yeah. Um, let's try it by. So, so, we are so good at our words. She, she was all pissed off. She was all pissed off, and then now we're doing a quest for her. So, um, none of this vampire shit makes any sense to me. Uh huh. You're carrying a 6,000 year curse in your blood. That's it? Only 6,000? Bad blood is a tangle of chains that's going to leave you bound. There's a lot of talking in this episode. Holy shit. Uh, but uh, why do you say that? Your elders command the blood. Ah. The blood You'll never even hear their call. This guy's fucking whacked out of his mind, isn't he? Alright, that sucks to you. Okay, we, I want to get some action going this, this fucking game. All we've done is talked, and we're already like 20-some minutes into this episode. Um, holy crap. Let's see. So we got a lot of story, blah, blah, blah. Let's go talk to the homeless people. Hi, homeless people. We gotta find out stuff. Hi. Nothing? Hmm. Crab nipple. Oh. Get away from me. Wow. Leave Look at this alone. fucking bitch's face. Sickness. Oh, you do. Well, I don't Look at her face. You're after my aluminum cans, aren't you? Yeah. Well, you're not gonna get them. Just get away. Um, with 20 bucks, change your outlook on things. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. All I know is that old tin can bill. Okay. He's been jabbering about some kind of monster that took him somewhere and got him sick. Oh, no. That's all I know, okay? And that's all I'm saying. All right, when's tin can bill? Usually find him down in his alleyway. Just across the bar. Across okay, perfect. Bar over there. Perfect. See ya. Lost 20. Hands off my stuff. Shut up, I just gave you 20 bucks. Let's uh, let's go talk to Tin Can Bill real quick. Is this him? Are you Tin Can Bill? Hello? Nope. Crab nipple. What are they going on about crab nipples for? I have no idea. Is this Tin Can Bill? This might be Tin Can Bill. Sup? Oh. Who's there, huh? Uh-huh. Old Bill can't see too good these days. Oh, poor Bill. Is that you, Fred? Yep, it's Fred. I ain't got no booze tonight. No. You may as well get the hell out of here. No, good thing I'm not Fred. Um, I heard, uh, you could tell me why everyone's getting sick. Yeah, I might be able to. Uh-huh. <laughs> but I'm off thirsty tonight, Mr. You're off, you're off thirsty. That's not what your line says there, buddy. Luck. Yeah, here's five bucks. <laughs> Thank you much. Uh-huh. I'm going to have to go pick up some hooch. Of course. <laughs> you dredge of society, you. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. This is why you never give homeless people money. Ever. Give them a sandwich or something, whatever. Most of the time, they'll just be like, fuck you, I don't want this sandwich. Because you know what they want? They want fucking money to go buy booze or crack or something. 
Okay, I believe you. It's a monster, is he? Yep. Monstrous, face all twisted, ugly, deep, longer than finger. Ooh. His eyes, piss yellow and full of hate. Piss yellow eyes. eyes, that's pretty cool. Uh, what happened? Uh huh. Took me. Oh, the bad place. Oh no. What? He keeps like his lines keep interrupting themselves. Uh huh. Ah, yeah, well, home sweet home, right? God, if this guy would stop t coughing so much, maybe we could get along with this fucking story. Uh, just where do I need? Where's the watch? God damn it! Just fucking talk! I get it. You're sick. He took that long to tell me the beginning of his story. Oh fucking Christ! Everything. I I'm gonna probably kill this guy. You annoy the hell out of me. Right, shut up. Make sure you make it. See you later. What? Ellipses. That's a bummer. Oh, he died! He did die. Oh, perfect. That's awesome. I'm so glad he's dead. All right. Uh, so we gotta go to the sewers. Anyway, guys, unfortunately, we are already up to like 27 minutes in this video. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I know this wasn't a very action-packed, you know, episode. It was morally, morally, mostly just talking and blabbing and yabbing and jabbing. But um, next episode, we'll head down to the sewers here and uh, we'll go see if we can find that monster. And it'll be a lot more exciting. So see you guys then on Vampires, the Blood Masquerade, Bloodlines of the Harry Scouts. Ow. Holy moly. Holy Moses. Okay, we need to do some things. Now, this is not going to work out in our favor at all, is it? Shit. Okay, I need...